Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Vanilla FM. We are about to play the playoffs once again for the Skybat Championship. This is now our fourth season, I think, in the Skybat Championship. Uh, as you can see from the graph, we have been consistently in third place. And we managed to finish third. And we're about to play Swansea, which was, I think, the same team that we faced last time in the first leg. So hopefully we can get through them again this time around. Now, no changes in the team at all. Um, I think maybe one minor change. I'm trying this young kid, Theo uh, Dem um, Dempsey, in the left winger position. Uh, but yeah, he's just a backup anyway. Yeah, uh, other, other than that, all the same. Uh, some injuries here and there to contend with, but... Um, Nothing much. I've now dealt with the youth. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Siri thinks I'm talking to her. Um, uh, yeah, so the youth teams... Um, the youth teams um, have now been sorted. I still need to do some work on the under-23s, but um, uh, by and large, I will sort it. I might actually sell Craig Noon next season. We had a massive offer that the board accepted and then I contested it. I think it was 2.4 million. I should have accepted it really because we haven't played Craig Noon that much and now we're trying Theo uh, Dempsey anyway. So I should have taken taken the 2.4 uh, million and sold him. But I contested it and the board backed down. So hopefully we can sell him next year or next winter, something like that, at uh, about the same fee. I want to get about the same fee for him. Uh, right, okay. So let's jump right into the match. I've obviously already selected the team and all of that, I think. Yeah, looks like it. Uh, we're going in with a positive mentality and... Let me see if I can remember. Um, nothing much to see here. Just our usual... Yeah, basically our usual tactic. Okay. Uh, yeah, and we'll see. And as before, for all of the playoff episodes, I will just show you the games and I'll cut out the bits in between so we can condense more matches in just in case we get to the final. Okay. So that will be the setup for this episode. Now, as I'm recording this episode, the day before yesterday... Or maybe it was yesterday. FM has announced, um, sorry, Sports Interactive announced FM 2022. Um, I was surprised to see just male characters on the cover because they've the, one of the big things they announced not too long ago is that they're going to have female leagues as well. So maybe I don't know. Uh, I don't want to read too much into that, but um, I was surprised to see just male cover, male characters or male players on the cover. It might have just been, like, I don't know if that is the official cover or not. And obviously I have pre-ordered the game, so we will have a look at the uh, at the beta once it comes out. So we have suffered one goal. Um, oh, by the way, as well, in other news, our new stadium is finished. Oh, well, it's not a new stadium. Our expansion to to the stadium has finished so when we play the second leg against Swansea we will be playing at home that will be exciting that will be our first match in the expanded stadium since its completion it only got completed maybe two weeks ago but we played a, our last match of the championship was away with Cardiff so we didn't get to play in it yet In other news, for the Cups, we did really well. We actually got all the way to the quarterfinal of the FA, FA, blah, words, FA Cup. Uh, we got to the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. We played against Manchester United, and I think we've lost very heavily. Um, but we, yeah, so we did quite well with prize money this year. And obviously, all the gate receipts and all that were awesome. I think 
Did we play at home against Manchester? I think we played at home against Manchester, which was which was nice. Um, because we got all that money from the gate receipts. Obviously, that was in the Bristol Stadium, not in the Hereford Stadium, because we were still based there at the time. Uh, Harry Wood is not that too good either. So we are not, I mean, we are still in debt. I think we're 1 million under, but considering all of the ways that we've been able to gather income this year, we could have been in a lot worse position. Um, so. So I'm glad. I'm glad of that. Let's see if we can score a goal here. No. Dodds is injured apparently as well. Oh, really poor shot. Shiny has really shined this year. He's our top goal scorer. Uh, in fact, we have quite a few players near each other in the goal scoring tally. But uh, Miles Shiny has stood out this year, which is lovely. It's lovely to see a striker finally um, getting to be the, our best goal scorer in um, in a in a league that we're doing well, well in. Okay, so I'm going to put a cut in here, and I'll come back for the sec for the second leg. See you in a bit. Okay, we're back, and I nearly forgot to press record. Um, we are going in... I can't even remember. The... Um, did we make any changes? We probably did. We probably made some changes. Uh, this is the team we're going with this time around. Uh, we are losing from the previous legs, so we need to try and do really well this time around. So this is our new expanded stadium. It has a perfect pitch, apparently. We'll see how big the stands uh, have gotten since then. Oh, it seems like there's another layer here on the on this this side of the pitch. <laughs> now Swansea. We played against them last year as well, I think, for the playoffs. Uh, with a very similar situation. So they came sixth, we came third. Um, oh yeah, there's another layer here as well. So it looks like they just extended the... Oh, and here as well, I think. I don't think that top layer was there. I think they just put double layers on maybe every single stand. So it's over 9,000 seating and apparently another 2,500 or something like that standing. Swans are going to get a penalty. Oh, this is not good. Tom Yates can defend them, but... We'll see. Yeah. He hits the post. This is what we like to see. Oh yeah, there's another layer on here. You can just about see it. Yeah. Double layers on all these stands. So does that mean if we try to extend it again, it will be corner still build now? That'd be cool. Theo Dempsey, the um, the youth, he's only 18, I think, with a goal here, bringing us level with Swansea. He came in so we could rest Dodds for a little bit. Obviously, if we go through to the final, we want to have Dodds at the best form possible. Um, so we rested him. Might still put him in for a little bit in the second half. We'll see. Depends how this goes. Oh, nice shot. Come on, you. Oh, Bates. You need to be faster, man. Oh, 
Oh, great confusion there. Yates just, yeah, he went in for a ball, didn't get it, and then he was out of position. Right, we need another goal. How are we going to get this? Probably. Um, I'm probably going to put Ye uh, Dodds in. Oh, Tom Yates is not playing too well. Need a header? Oh, yeah, come on. Scott Sheenan, the central defender, with a goal. He hasn't played, he hasn't scored many. I think it's his second, it said there. Um, it's usually Brad Hills or Harkness when he when Harkness plays, which isn't very often nowadays. Okay, so we're back level. This is good. We still have some subs we can do. Oh, mate, you can score from there, mate. Come on. Yeah. Timmy Graham. He's been doing very well for us. It's a shame he's on loan. Um, it'd be awesome if he was part of our team. He can stay next year. Beautiful goal there. Okay, time for our final subs. Let's have a look at the team. Richard South is dropping off. And um, let's get Mike Davis in. Uh, that halfback position is still our weakest, I think. Um, and our box to box as well, to be fair. They're both quite weak positions for us. But okay, we're back level. Swansea scored another one. Uh, so that's that's a position that, even, to be fair, even last last transfer window, last even the previous one before that, I've been trying to improve those two positions, but it's so hard to find good players that we can afford. There are good players out there. There are even good players that are interesting in joining our interested in joining our club, but not many that we can afford. They're quite expensive players, the good ones. But I think if, if we can get that those two positions sorted, um, then then we probably don't need to mess around much with the rest of the team. No, I can't remember if uh, if it stays drawn. I can't remember if you go straight to penalties or if there's extra time. I think it goes straight to penalties, but I can't quite remember. Okay, Theo, here he is. Great pass. Oh, beautiful play there by everyone. Good job, boys. Absolutely beautiful play. They're loving playing back at home, aren't they? Theo, a cheeky little underpass to Andre into Thorn like, and an over to. Oh, I suppose through to Timmy. Now Swansea can still score, and if they do, it's back to same old story. No, oh, come on, boys. There we go. Tommy Yates. Tommy Yates absolutely recovered his form from 6.3 to 7.4. Timmy's kind of starting to get tired. But I think we can hold it. Yes, we can. All right, we are through to the final. Let's just find out who we are playing against. Um, does it say? Yeah, Nottingham Forest. So I'll catch you on the final against Nottingham Forest. See you in a bit. And we're back for the final. And as you can see, I look different because it's the next day. I had to take a break because yesterday was very busy. So. 
we are at the final. This is very exciting. However, it could turn out to be very disappointing. Uh, so we've been in this position before. We have played the final last year and we didn't get through. So the same thing could potentially happen now. Um, however, if we do win, we will get promoted to the Premiership, which is very exciting and at the same time very concerning because our club structure is not ready to be at the Premiership level. However, it'll still be cool to play it if we get through. So we are playing with a few backup players. So Tom Yates, that's fine, usual. Richard South. Now the posi that position, the um, right wing back position is starting to become a little bit concerning. Not very good quality of players in that position, but fine. Uh, our usual double for the centre back position, Brad Hills and Scott. The left side, our multi-million purchase is not really, you know, paying off. So that's a little bit disappointing. We've got Wood and um, Haynes. Now Wood, obviously, eh, part of the senior squad. Again, the halfback position has been one of our weakest points for probably two or three seasons now. Hayes is... Um, He's coming, he's a youth player, he's coming in for the box-to-box -box players who are, who are both injured. Uh, Bates, he usually plays on, on the right, uh, interchangeably with right anyway. Uh, then we've got Gibson in the middle, again quite the usual player there, that's all good. Dodds, very good for us this season, and Timmy Graham, also very good for us this season. So, attack is fine. Center of defense is fine, goalkeeping is fine. The other positions are quite concerning. Um, so we need to do something about that next year, but the main issue is money. How are we gonna afford players like this that are gonna be able to help us out in the Premiership? Ooh, that was a nice free kick, but um, it's just a shame that we're now losing 1-0. Yeah, so that so those are positions that we really need to improve. And to be fair, also the backup players for most positions aren't very good at the moment. We got very good strikers, which is unusual for us. But yeah, the, the last couple of seasons we've had quite uh, quite good players for the striker position. Uh, left winger is been fine as well. Uh, uh, center backs, it's fine, I think. But yeah, the other positions, the, the backup players aren't really up to scratch. We're losing 2 0, which I think we all know what it means. It means we're not getting promoted unless we can come back from this somehow. Also, another thing, um, because the new game has been announced, so it's going to come out in November, obviously I will play the beta when it comes out, but I'm going to wind down the this save to just one episode a season. Sorry, no. One episode a week. That's what I meant. Just one episode a week from now on, just so I can... Um, I actually want to do that. Uh, just so I can, you know, not be so busy trying to record episodes as well. I need to take more time between them now. Uh, am I completely happy with this? I don't think I am. I'm going to do that and that, I think. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just wind down to one episode a week now, starting with this episode. So from now on, it will be just one episode a week. Probably Tuesdays. It might be Wednesdays, it might be Thursdays, but definitely just one a week. So that I um, can focus on some other things.
Now it would have been lovely to finish on a Premiership League. I don't think we'll be able to do that before November. Because uh, it's usually three episodes per season, isn't it? So that'll be three weeks per season. Um, which will mean... Means we're probably gonna get, what, two seasons in before the new version of the game comes out. Gosh, there's much confusion there. Um, yeah, so two seasons before the game comes out, I think, roughly. So I don't think we're gonna make it to the Premiership, to the Premiership, the Premier League. But we'll see. Now the aim, obviously, um, now that I can see we're not gonna get promoted because we're running out of goal opportunities. Um, the aim, obviously, would be to get a straight promotion next year. So rather than having to go through playoffs, we finish at least second. That's going to be very hard because we don't have the money to invest in players. Um, all of the teams that have been in the Premiership and have received their parachute payment are way better off. We still have the lowest budget in the whole league, even though we finished third. We still have the lowest budget. Uh, I think it's 90-something K. 95k? It could be 100 now, I can't quite remember. Okay, so we didn't make it through, which is ever so disappointing. But uh, the good news is, I think next year we can make it to straight promotion. That's what I'm gonna... That's what I want to focus on. Get straight promotion in the next season. Let's just see what the end of season review says Timmy Graham, very good, just a shame that he's on loan and not permanent, but um, played re really well for us so we want to be here but look at the difference between the top two teams and the rest amazing let's look at the um, oh yeah you? Da -da -da. We've got a lot of competition money because we went through the quarterfinals we got kicked out in the quarterfinal of the FA Cup by Manchester United. So that's why we made so much money in price money. Uh, no surprises there in the shirt sales. No surprises here either. We've got manager of the month in December. Dodds has beat the most assists record. I think 11 was the most assists for a long time. Too much money paid for this guy. He didn't. He wasn't worth it. Um, Tom Yates, fan, fan player of the season. Timmy Graham, young player of the season. I agree with that. Signing of the season? No, that was poor business. I think that we should not get signing of the season. I think that was poor business. Anyway, goal of the season, Mike. Uh, top goal scorer, Timmy, with 13 goals. Quite close to Miles, I think. Mark Dodd, 16 assists. As mentioned before, um, most award, but player of the match awards, nine for Tom Yates, our goalkeeper. Highest rating, Tom Yates. And again, is this a bug? Sometimes I wonder if it is a bug. It's always a halfback that gets the most complete, completed passes. It's never been anyone else other than the halfback. So I'm starting to think is it, it might be a bug. We're going to have 4.5 million to play with next season for transfers, which isn't very much. And I'm going to try not to spend it all on one player. Uh, I'm going to try not to repeat my the mistakes of the past. So we're going to be working towards becoming an established club. Oh no, next season we're, gonna, we're still going to be fighting for relegation, but the season after that, then establish is becoming an established club. Uh, I'm going to remove some of these, because I just always like to remove stuff if I can. No, I can't? Okay. And I will do all of this in off-camera, because, you know, I just want to thank you so much for watching this episode. I'm sorry we didn't get promoted, but hopefully next season we will. And um, as I've said, we're going to wind it down to just one episode a season now. Uh, oh, sorry, one episode a week now. So three weeks per season. Uh, for the remaining of the um, FM21 edition. 
Uh, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe as well. And check out the links below. Uh, one of them is for the Patreon, which you can also check out. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.